Republic of Korea, South Korea. And fortunately, the United Nations Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights has accepted that. A field office is being recruited uh, even as we meet. Uh, it will be set up in March, it will be set up in Seoul, and it will continue the task of taking the stories, taking the victim statements. Uh, the present High Commissioner for Human Rights, Prince Zaid of uh, Jordan, uh, has said it's very important that those statements be taken as as statements appropriate to be used in any future prosecution, if a prosecution one day can be brought. And uh, that is something he said when he was the representative of Jordan in the Security Council, it was good advice. And that is the way we went about it, but it's also going to be the way that the office in uh, Seoul will go about it. Uh, getting news and information into North Korea is difficult because of the jam, jamming machines, the blockages. But if we go back to what happened in Europe before the fall of the Berlin Wall, the reason for the great unrest that spread through Eastern Europe at that time was that the people of Romania and Hungary and Czechoslovakia, as it was then, began to know about the outside world. And more importantly, they began to know that their leaders knew about the outside world. And that is what now has to be done in uh, North Korea. We've got to uh, find the budget uh, in difficult times for the Voice of America, Voice of Free Asia, uh, and send the balloons into North Korea with the radios uh, and, and uh, increase, so far as we can, uh, the Chinese made uh, mobile phones with access to the internet. More and more news is seeping in. That's just the nature of the age we live in. And that is going to be a very important step. There's so much more in, my, in the report of the Commission of Inquiry. I commend it to you. It's a readable document. You shouldn't forget about this. You should bring it up on the internet, read it, and when you haven't had enough of the text, Go to the manuscript of the transcript of the testimony, and when you haven't had enough of that, go and watch the witnesses speak, because that is how you get the news about what has been going on for too long in North Korea. So thank you very much for having me, and that's basically what I came to tell you. We'll have a big round of applause, then Commissioner for Sir. <laughs>